In order to understand how to control the dopamine system, how to leverage it for a better life, you need to understand the results of a very important experiment. This experiment was able to separate pleasure from motivation. It's a very simple, but like many simple experiments, a very elegant experiment. What they did, and this has now been done in animals and in humans, they offered rats food. It was a food that they particularly liked. And the animals would lever press for a pellet of food, kind of classic experiment. They'd eat the food and they presumably liked the food because they were motivated to press the lever and eat it. Great. They took other rats. They eliminated the dopamine neurons. You can do this by injection of a neurotoxin that destroys these neurons. So they actually had no dopamine in their brain. They have no ability to release dopamine. And they gave them a lever. The rats would sit there and they'd hit the lever and they'd eat the food. They still enjoyed the food. So you say, well, okay, so dopamine isn't involved in motivation and it isn't involved in pleasure. No, it absolutely is. They could still enjoy the food, but if they moved the rat literally one body length away from the lever, what they found was the animals that had dopamine would move over to the lever, press it and eat. And the ones, the rats that did not have dopamine available to them wouldn't even move one body length, one rat length to the lever in order to press it and get the food. Dopamine, therefore, is not about the ability to experience pleasure. It is about motivation for pleasure. This has been repeated in humans in a variety of different scenarios. You can't really do the lever press thing quite as easily, but we know that people that have low levels of dopamine are simply less motivated, even though they can achieve pleasure.